For miles on end, Kenya is a beautiful and rich country. Rich in our culture, rich in our spirit. But there's one place where richness knows no bounds, and that is in the nature around us. A richness that feeds our energy, a richness that drives the nation that is us, Kenya. Kenya's energy mix has for a long time been heavily reliant on just one form of renewable energy. In fact, at independence, Kenya had only 30 megawatts of energy, all coming from the older Wanji, Dula and Mesco hydropower stations. Now, decades later, the expanding and innovative technology has enabled us to provide a healthy, balanced diet of a mix of renewable energy sources. Hydroelectric power has for long been at the helm of output, generating upwards of 800 megawatts of power majorly from the Seven Forks Dam system. Harnessing the power of water flowing in our rivers from our highlands, hydroelectric power constitutes 36% of the power in our national grid. When we talk of looking to the sky as a source of hope, the sun has never failed us, and the government sees this as an opportunity, having already put up the Garissa Solar Farm, the largest of its kind in the greater East Africa. The Garissa farm hopes to channel into the grid about 50 megawatts of power. Wind in itself is another dependable source of renewable energy, with the most notable project being considered the single largest private investment in Kenya's history. The Lake Turkana wind power station covers 160 square kilometers, with some of these wind turbines standing a staggering 70 meters high. It provides 310 megawatts of reliable, low-cost wind power to Kenya. Last but not least on the list is the power from beneath the earth we walk. Kenya's geothermal power output ranks ninth globally, beating Japan, and is the second largest contributor to the grid with 650 megawatts of power and a potential of 10,000 megawatts. Recently, the government has pushed to boost the output by the construction of two projects under the Geothermal Development Company. First is the Menengai Station in Nakuru County with an estimated output potential of about 1600 megawatts of power. The other is the Baringo Silali project which looks at a potential of 3000 megawatts of power. But where we find the mammoth share of our current geothermal mix is here, the Okaria Geothermal Station. At the bottom of Kenya's Rift Valley, Okaria One's commissioning in June of 1981 led to an injection of 45 megawatts and that in subsequent years has increased to the current 650. With such a mix of renewable energy sources, Kenya is well geared to accomplish and realize its Big Four agenda under the new dispensation. The previous five-year term led to the rapid electrification of rural areas under the Last Mile Initiative which still hopes to ensure 100% connectivity before 2022. Now, however, a daunting task. Affordable housing, universal healthcare, Food security and majorly powering industrialization all require energy. And in fact, energy in itself is a key enabler of the Big Four agenda. So, what do we bring to the table at this year's One Planet Summit? A promise that as a country, we pledge to power our economy with a healthy mix of renewable energy. Currently ranked ninth globally and top on our mother continent, Africa, Kenya is working to be fully reliant on clean, sustainable energy. This as we optimize on renewable energy success 
in Kenya.